everyone welcome back to the challenge step campus in this video we are going to see how we will open a mock assessment in the fresco play also we will see what is the difference between the new pro environment and our actual environment okay and then we will see like what documents we can open in the new pro environment and what we can't okay so let's get started so if you see here on the screen so we are on the fresco player okay so now if you want to launch the uh, mock assessment then you have to go with that link right so suppose that link is not working so how to open so in this address bar just remove this line okay just give it like https fresco uh, play dot fresco dot me okay and then give one forward slash and then write course okay and then give slash and then give the course ID that is 2434 okay so if you are not able to uh, go to this link directly uh, clicking on the link so you can try like this one okay so click on enter so once you enter so you will land on page and you can see here it's a demo selenium and it's a mock assessment okay uh, wings uh, mock selenium directory okay so i'm just taking a sample okay how to open and then how uh, we can differentiate between the new pro environment and our local uh, tcs machine so now what you have to do you have to click on this re uh, revisit course so once you are in the uh, hands on uh, in hands on exam so you will get like this way only okay so you have given one course id so you have to click on that course id and then you have to uh, go to this page so suppose like you are clicking you are giving the main exam okay suppose so you click on this launch button okay so like this way you will get in the actual assessment also like it will take some time to load the uh, hands on okay so now you can see here so the web page uh, is launching now okay so yeah, first we will understand about the uh, new pro environment okay so what is new pro environment so see if you see here now so if i cl click on this one like uh, uh, let it be open first again like fully or uh, let it be a load then uh, we will see so best basically what i'm going to tell you so if you see here the google chrome okay now you can see here right so all the icons are loaded now okay so if you see here there is one google chrome also so the environment which we are getting this is a vdi okay virtual machine this is a virtual machine provided by the elevate teams or we can see the wings one team for our hands-on purpose so this is a different machine okay this machine has also google chrome okay this machine has also google chrome okay and one google chrome uh, also we have in our local machine okay so already you know like we have a google then we have gone to ultimatics and then we have opened the fresco right so google chrome is there in our tcs machine also and one google chrome they have given inside the virtual machine or this virtual machine is only known as new pro environment okay so let open the google chrome so once you double click on the google chrome so it will open the google Chrome. you can see here okay now you can see let me close one okay yeah now you can see google chrome is open so this google chrome and the google chrome which we have opened that is different okay so the google chrome which is opened inside the virtual machine that is a new pro environment google chrome okay so what you have to do now so what documentation you want to run suppose you are not able to write the code by your own you need some documentation okay or some complex code has come and then you record like how will be the what will be the syntax of that particular code so you can't go to like you no need to open any documents here just remember okay in this google chrome in this google chrome in the sense in the new pro environment google chrome you no need to open any documentation whatever documentation you want to open so you have to open in your local machine so i will click on this outside okay i will click on this uh, outside of this one and here i will open selenium documentation okay okay all good yeah so like this way i can open outside not in the new pro so whatever documents you want to open you have to open here itself okay now second point so where we have to launch the uh, course website okay like the automation project website so you have to click on this project you have to click on this uh, folder then you have to go with the problem statement okay and in the problem statement only you have this option right so right click and open in new tab so you can see here right so the problem statement itself open in the new pro environment you don't need to do anything because if you want to open in outside now so suppose if you are copying this one okay so if you copy also and you are you try to open it outside where we have opened a documentation it won't work okay you can't over see control b i am pressing control b i am uh, the paste is also disabled so you can't copy and paste anything okay so from the new pro environment you can't able to do anything outside 
so i am saying just documentation open outside and whatever the project related things you were required okay so that will automatically will be open in the new pro environment itself only okay so you can see here so uh, this is the currency converter uh, application which you have to perform the selenium automation script so for this one like you can see whatever you required so all the things are here only so control shift if you want to inspect so you have to do inside the new pro environment only okay only documentation i will say you, uh, from the scratch so only ultimatic you have to open because it's your in system so ultimatic you will open in your local then you will go to the i wall then you will open the fresco play after uh, clicking on the launch button it will give you one virtual machine okay whatever activity you now have to perform in the new pro environment only but if you require any documentation then you have to again come back to your uh, again back to your local machine and then you can open the documentation there okay i hope this is clear to you all so this is the difference between the uh, new pro environment and the actual environment okay now so can we add any change in the validation.py file or uh, validation.java uh, uh, file so no we can't do anything because they uh, if you see the for the may cycle assessment so in the nomi portal they already discussed these things like many of us change uh, the validation file so they are saying like no need to uh, do any changes in the validation file validation.java or validation.py so we no need to do anything so if our code is not working then we have to think like why our code is not working it is a technical glitch or it is our code error so if it is a technical glitch then definitely we have an option to write the mail to the elevate team so that we can discuss about these things but if it is a code error then you have to sort it from your end only you no need to change any validation.py or any uh, changes in the validation.java okay so we have to keep this in our mind okay so total question will be uh, one okay and this will be based on the selenium plus cucumber see i am not promising and i am not giving my 100% like that the night watch uh, assessment won't become but whatever the input i got from the td uh, the classes uh, the, the session which i have attended so in all the sessions i got the common answer like selenium and night watch combination they don't have they have only selenium with cucumber uh, we can say concept right so they will give you uh, hands on on selenium plus cucumber itself okay but anyhow if you have any doubt there you can you can reach to your unit td you can discuss these things okay so like what will be the assessment technology they are asking okay so they will guide you definitely so this is the uh, things that i have discussed with you yeah so like uh, i hope like this is clear to you guys so we have learned till now like how to op uh, open the mock okay difference between the new pro environment and our actual environment what documentation we can open outside the environment only selenium documentation just remember only selenium but nothing else if you open anything they won't fetch i know because that is in your local system but if any invigilator will see this one then they will uh, terminate you from the exam so don't do this one only open the selenium documentation apart from any code or repository or anything okay so i hope this is clear to you all yeah so we'll see you in the next lecture thank you bye bye